What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last episode, we explored Bikini Bottom as much as we could, anyways. And now, we have made our way into the jellyfish fields. Squidward is actually stung, and we need to go find some medicine for him. In the last episode, I actually saw some weird shiny objects on the ground, but I guess this is explained now because when this platform is raised up, so do the shiny objects. So I like when the shiny object now is actually in the ground, but that was still kind of weird that I could see that. I actually did not know the shiny object uh, would rise with that. Yay, we got the next checkpoint. Oh, hello, I'm gonna skip this cutscene. <laughs> I don't know. That fish didn't really seem like he really cared all that much, actually. I mean, he, now he looks kind of distressed. He really doesn't look <laughs> that bad. But we've got to have a bit of fun with it, yeah? Yeah, it kind of looks like he is, actually. Okay, so this is called a hammer. Get it? It's a hammer made of ham? Yeah. So this fish is not grateful at all. He just kind of looks at me like, ah, Hi! Okay, uh, no, there's no way to do first-person camera in this game, I suppose. Uh, nothing up there. Nope. Right. Okay, I thought I saw a shiny object over there. Okay, so... Introduction of the hammers. Um, as you would imagine, yep, those robots we first saw are definitely not the only robots in this game. Not by far. Some of the robots in the later parts of the game get really freaking difficult to deal with. And not looking forward to that, actually. Uh, especially in the boss gauntlets and that. Well, not really boss gauntlets, but you'll see what I mean later on. That's kind of spoilerific, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go over here, collect the star bits. Seriously, I'm just gonna call these star bits the entire game. So that's all they freaking are. What's this? SpongeBob needs another bubble bowl in order to play this game. Yeah, so you stand on this. There's bowling balls, and I instinctively press the button you need, or you get when you actually get this move. But yeah, so, yep, yeah, can't do anything with this for now. We will have to remember to return here. Which is definitely weird, because this is the only level... Well, actually, that's not true. This is one of the very few levels that actually make you do that. Oh, by the way, I didn't show this in the first few episodes, but if you actually tilt the control stick slightly, you actually sneak. And obviously, it becomes more useful later on. Okay, bubble bowl. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Get it, Mon! Yeah, Mon! Alright, uh, there's nothing down there. Nope, that's just death and doom, and probably as well as a bit of destruction. Okay, jump over here. I'm gonna try, like, instinctively, I wanna run over here and destroy these tiki's. I'm gonna try my best to only destroy the tiki's that are actually kind of, like, on my path. Because otherwise, we're just gonna spend forever in levels. Yeah. These guys actually are gonna be super annoying to avoid. Alright, anything up here? It ain't a little placket. Oh, I wanna make sure. That, oh, yeah, there was a star bit. Oh, that's still something, I suppose. I suppose. He feels like a new sponge. Alright. There we go, destroy all the things, actually. Okay, nothing on top of the- Oh, although, I know, there are some instances where you need to destroy- oh, Okay, that wasn't one of them. Where you destroy all the tiki's and the stuff do spawn. This is goo. Yeah, okay, we already we already know that. It's too silly. If you notice, he actually has a shockwave. Oh yeah, if robots touch the goo, they also just automatically die, which is pretty fantastic, actually. I enjoy that feature a lot. Um, you know what? I, I have to do it. Uh, uh, there's no point in rescuing my life for this, but I wanted to do it. <laughs> ah! Ah! If you actually look, if you actually saw, there was a sock up there, and this was actually one of the socks I, in my last playthrough of this game a few months back. I had no idea how to get to that sock. Now I do, so I'm a bit smarter now. Not not by much, let's face it. Actually, the way to get to the sock is let's do one more bounce. Is this way? It's like, pff, that's really obvious. Well, how could I not figure that out? Well, you'll see why in a moment. It's actually pretty clever. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Okay, we, oh, I'm not grabbing the underwear. I was gonna grab it, but then I realized how far away it actually was. I actually really like this area. There's a weird fountain pipe thing, and it just falls off. That's really cool. Um, the reason why this sock was... Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get it at first. Because this tree actually has a dual purpose. What you're supposed to do, and the obvious way to go, is actually this way. And you see all these star bits. I'm just gonna call them star bits. Screw it. Uh, shiny objects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to keep calling them shiny objects. Yeah, but if you go over here, you get a sock as well. Um, 
Right here, that's actually the bungee jump that from before. Can I, can I see it? No. Well, that, you'll just have to take my word for it. That's the bungee jump we used before to get that other golden spatula. And see, that's another example of going on one of those, and they lead you all the way back here. Yep, so this is a teeter totter over here. Eh. And here's the teleport box. So if you jump in here, it teleports us right back to the beginning of the level. See Squidward's over there, and there's a taxi. Alright, get back in there. There's really no point in us being over here. That machine, Huffy a popular is a duplication 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful though, it goes all the big bang. So yeah, um, as you see, it spawns enemies. It does stop at some point. Uh, this one might only do three. Yeah, this one only seems to do three. You hit it. Oh, oh god. Ah! Oh, I'm actually near death right now. Oh god. Oh, I don't know why he was hitting the hammer over there. I really need some underwear. Not every day you say that. Well, if you're me, you say that every day, but... Oh, man, I, should, I could really do with wearing some underwear right now. <laughs> there we go. Um, you do get a golden spatula for every area you complete. It's kind of a freebie, really. I don't really like that feature in the game. I kind of wish it was more challenging, I guess. See, this isn't really the ending of the area, though. As you see, you go to Jellyfish Caves. This is part of the same level. It's just a different section. It is a loading screen, though, because obviously the GameCube could only load such a big area. What? Oh, 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 mermaid man! <laughs> All this <laughs> mail. What? what? Oh, yeah, it's that. This is a different voice actor too. Kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? Uh, that hey, Patrick! It's surrounded by robots and needs my help. <laughs> huh? Oh, no! I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. I don't know about you guys, but I massage Mermaid well, Man's feet any day of the week. Well, say Patrick, then massage I must. Help! Oh, They're great. making me hit myself! <laughs> There's nothing even there, Patrick! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a, a more direct massage. approach. By clipping my toenails? Ew, no, by biting them ah, off. Come, Patrick! Okay, so the voice actor for Mermaid Man is different in this game, which is also weird. Um... The voice actor for Mermaid Man actually just died very recently, so rest in peace to him. I'm, I'm just gonna hit you and just just in retribution. I, I don't really know. <laughs> this is the first instance of sliding in this game. Slides are fantastic. They're great. Yeah, just another Mario ripoff, but it's fantastic. It's really it's done great in this game. The turning's a bit off. But, oh, there's a golden sock right there. Nice. Golden sock. Golden spatulas and golden sock. Game makes it. What? And there's actually a second one right there that I missed. God. Dang it, yeah, we're good. and by do it again sometime, you can actually do it right freaking now. Alright, so teleport boxes are used mostly on slides, to be honest. So you can go down the slide over and over again. But yeah. Actually, I was going to cut it there, just meet you guys back where the sock was. But we might as well show the other path all here. We went up the right side that time. This time we're going on the left side. And get the sock! Yes, there we go. There we go. Um, I believe there's a new character down here. Oh, no, there's not. All right, actually, that comes later. Um, yeah, let's continue all four. Hold stop, Patrick. Patrick, where are you? This is the first kind of mini boss of the game, I guess. I mean, it's not really a mini boss. It's more of a challenge. There's no real mini boss in this game, to be honest. There's a few. Bo there's actually not many bosses either. There's a few. There's a few good ones. But there's not many actually. There's a whole bunch of duplication trons over here. But the real goal is to actually hit our these switches. There's one beside each duplication, 1,000 things, thingma bobs. The best thing to do is actually avoid all these robots and not really destroy them, just because they do respawn anyways because of duplication trons. What are these called? Duplicate, duplicate. Duplicatron, yeah, that's, that is what they're called, alright. There we go, destroy that. Um, this is the last one. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you didn't! You actually hit robots into each other, and that's also another way of destroying um, them. That could be a fun time for everybody involved. Alright, so here, here's the last one coming up here. Alright. Boom shakalaka! Hit that switch, SpongeBob! No! The explosion knocked me off the pledge, and we gotta start over again. God, dang it!
All right. There we go. We did it. All by ourselves. Freaking Patrick just stood there like a silly little stupid face. All right. And I really gotta say, once we get over here, let's tree it there. It's, the robots went really out of their way to go TP that tree over there. Let me look at that! That's just on a rock ledge. And then it's like, you know what? We really gotta get to that tree, guys. We really gotta TP it. And so they did. Pretty proud of them, actually. Um, they're like my children. TPing everything in their way. <laughs> All right, okay, here's Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. Ooh, thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Hey. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> well, the robots and the... Think the robots could even reach oh, him. Yeah, I found this for you. Oh, I don't know what nice. it is, but it looks important. It's the golden turkey baster. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue you know the, on for a bit? You know the fact that okay. um, Patrick said he doesn't know what this is? SpongeBob. Where's SpongeBob go? SpongeBob, come back! The uh, fact that Patrick didn't know what this is, and he promised to give us... Uh, a golden spatula every time we get him 10 socks really worries me because he doesn't even know what he want. he's gonna give me, does he? Hmm. Yes, this is a throw fruit. There's X to pick it up. And he can come over here and throw it. This game, come to think of it, isn't only on the GameCube, it came out on the PlayStation 2? Yeah, that sounds right. PlayStation 2, and it also came out on the PC. Um, and also the Game Boy Advance, I believe. And I believe there's actually bonus content in the Game Boy Advance, which is weird. I can also pick up tiki's. There we go. That becomes somewhat more important later. Whoa, I thought that. Did that just sit on the goo? Oh, no, it doesn't break itself. Okay, I thought it was just sitting on the goo for a second. Yeah, we'll kill that cowboy guy. Let's look at him. He's having way too much fun dancing. Look at him. Getting down with the dirt itself. Yeah. Alright. Do we get anything for destroying these? I don't know. Let's see if we do. I don't think we do, but it's worth a try. There we go. Okay, nope. The answer is no. Patrick could throw, f yeah. So you can't walk up things with it, so you can't jump when you're carrying stuff, but you can not throw it. And Patrick could just throw pretty far. If we wait long enough, here, let's see if we actually get it to happen here. As you see, the fruit starts to turn black, and it starts blinking, and it does explode if you wait long enough. Oh yeah, I didn't show the bus stop though. All right, if we go over here, and we press R, we can swap characters. This becomes a lot more useful later. For now, we are going to want to play as Patrick since there is no way to continue on with Spongebob. And I'm glad this gate didn't close itself. Okay. Uh, it's the teeter-totter. It works exactly how you would think it would. Stand where it clearly tells you to stand where the pink starfish is. Throw the fruit on the target and we We go for an exciting ride. That would be exciting in real life, but also very terrifying and probably I would not want to do it, actually. There's a Thunder Tiki! Walk into it. There's a lightning storm above it, and if you wait long enough, it goes BOOM! And it also gives us a super combo, and this guy just doesn't even know what the heck's going on. Um, I could pick up a Thunder Tiki and throw it, that's all that was saying. Yeah, that just leads up there, I don't know why I bothered showing that, I was pretty sure I knew where that was. Alright, let's get back over here. Um, I believe we're coming up to a new loading zone here, and when we do, I'm gonna pause it and continue on the next episode. It's like a little baby tree, it's so adorable. Oh. Hey, right. you barnacle head! I am Where not a barnacle going? head. I'm a starfish head. Rock is talking <laughs> to me. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. I'll oh, hail the mighty rock. Pink lummox. What do you mean down here? He's above the rock. So Oops. Oh, no. Tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable Oops. position of having to assist you. I skipped something. I, I don't know why I skipped. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. <laughs> oh, Heed Patrick. My words, the humor in this game is actually really good. Canadian. I like it. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Neat. Well, then will you vaporize me? Heck yes, I, I hope so. I spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. <laughs> this made a sweatshop oh, joke in a SpongeBob you. game. 
How awesome is that? See, it's like, I, I really like that. It's like, you think this is a kid's game, so it's not going to be very funny. It's not going to be very, like, difficult, but it's not. It's, I mean, well, it's not any of those things. It has, it, it's really difficult in some parts of the game, actually. In the last level in the game, I'm actually really dreading. In my playthrough in the summer, I actually skipped that level entirely because I remember it being super confusing. Um, Patrick also has a belly slam. Oh, yeah, we didn't really go over the Patrick controls, did we? Most of the things are still the same. Instead of using a jellyfish wand, we now bash with our stomach and it's slightly we're donk donk. We don't have an upstrike anymore. Um, we do have the slam. Uh, yeah, yeah. The only difference from SpongeBob at this very moment is we don't have the upstrike. There are more differences later on when we get upgrades, like you know the uh, the bowling thing we saw over there, we were over there earlier in this episode. Um, we, we won't, we, once Spongebob gets that, we, Patrick won't have an upgrade or anything. But anyways! Oh, this isn't a loading area yet, is it? Well, I'm gonna end off here, though. In the next episode, we'll go to the glory cave of glowiness. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and already. My name is Chris, I really hope you're enjoying this Let's Play so far. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>